wanted to plan your holiday in advance so that it doesn't crash with your important working day and it doesn't crash with the public holiday that you enjoy the most. At the same time, it is follows your working day. Hi everyone, my name is Thai. I help people to make more money and make more time by using Microsoft Excel and data. And in this video, I'm going to share with you how we are able to achieve that plan your holiday in advance so that it doesn't crash with any important dates as well as holiday at the same time it's in your working day in super simple Excel format. And now you can see on the screen it's a blank Excel sheet that doesn't have any public holiday. The easiest thing is to go online and search for the public holiday of your particular state. Or you can get it from your company HR. So I'm in the search result, I have found the holiday in my current state and I just need to copy and paste this whole thing into Excel. It works something like this. I just use my mouse and select that and press Ctrl C to copy and I go back to Excel. In here, instead of paste it normally, I want to paste it, make sure it doesn't paste the formatting. So I can go and paste and get something called there's a paste match the destination formatting. From here, I can remove the column B because later I will merge this Friday, Thursday, and Monday, all these things into a single column. So I can just move it. Widen column B and I want to do some formatting on the date. If I go to A2, back until the end, the keyboard shall press Ctrl, Shift, Down, everything. In here, I want to do some cells formatting and the keyboard shortcut for cells formatting is Ctrl 1, Ctrl number 1. Inside here, go to number, there's something called custom. In the custom, there's something called type. Now I'm going to have a triple D, 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 D. It means it will show the day of the week. But it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and so on. I want to have a comma and put a space, make sure they separated. And I want to have a DD for the two DD for the day, slash MMN, three alphabet for the month, and slash YYYY, and four digit for the year. If you prefer to keep it short, you can just have a two Y like what you see on the screen. Once you are happy, you can press OK. You can see all these things done. Before we continue, I want to convert this whole thing into an Excel table. Later, you will see the benefits of using Excel table. By so going to Insert and there's something called Table. And the keyboard shortcut is Ctrl T. And you can see the whole thing is get highlighted. I just press OK. Just make sure my table has taken this track. Press OK and can see the color has changed. Before we continue to the next one, I want to make sure I give it a meaningful name for this table. Currently it says table 1 and I want to make it like a holiday. It's recommended to use the standard wording like table to indicate this table. Table, public, holiday. Once you are done, you can press enter and just a gentle reminder. For the name, there's a no special character like ampersand, hashtag, and question mark. Underscore is okay, minus sign is not okay. Upper bird, uppercase and lowercase and numbers, they are perfectly fine. Press enter once you are done. It's a list of the holidays. Now I want to achieve the same things. I want to have a list of the important working days. I want to put a date. I want to say this is important work day. Example, the company town hall. Example, company trip. For example, company annual dinner. So all these dates, usually they are planned in advance. So I can have it something like this here. I notice there's a 4th of January is a company meeting. But 21, so it's a company meeting. Let me widen the column and do some adjustment. Before I continue, I want to convert this whole thing into an Excel table. I can go to insert table, I can press OK and I will change the name this call working day. Press enter and I want to have the formatting for the date same with the one on the left. I could just copy and go here. Instead of normal paste, I want to paste as the format. The easiest way is using mouse right click, there's something called format. Yes, now you can got it. And I notice there's a one more date. If on January also the company meeting, because it's so many meetings, they will have two dates. I have two dates here. 
And now I want to start plan my holiday. Yes, I want to have a as well. And I need three holiday. Holiday cake. In order for me to enjoy, make sure the holiday is really a holiday. I want to make sure it's the worthy, the weekday. Means a Monday to Friday. So weekday. At the same time, it's not public holiday. Not PH means not public holiday. And it's no meeting. No meeting. So I have this big criteria. And let me put a simple illustration to show you how this is can be done. First, I will have a first of January year 21. I will just put it down to have a few continuous things. Something like this. First, I want to know it's a weekday. Weekday means Monday to Friday. It's in my current state, because different state, you can adjust this formula easily. So let me show you how. Weekday, the formula, and price tag. Select the date that you intend to take the day off. And comma, this is the adjustment you can make. If I say you have a different state and different working day, you can adjust it here. In my current state, the working day is Monday to Friday, so I will prefer to Monday to be one, number two will be second working day, three will be and so on. So you will just follow this sequence. So I will choose number two as the output format. So five means Friday. I can copy the formula downward by double click on the lower right corner. This called view handle. I put this double click. And number six and seven, these are the not working day. Something happens here and here. And I want to, instead of showing something like this, I want to show as a true and false. True means if they are working day, false means they are not working day. So I can see the pattern here. Those lesser or equal to five, they are working day. So I will go to here, I will do some formatting. Lesser or equal to five and press enter and say true. I can copy the formula by double click on the lower right corner, the view handle. As you can see, they are false. It means these dates are not working. And the next one I want to check is the date. Are they fall under the public holiday? So we'll just equal match. By matching this against the holiday dates. I just select them. And you can notice it shows table public holiday, square bracket, date, and square bracket. Means He's referring to the table public holiday on the left, just now the name we have given, and it follows the column A. If you are typing formula, you can type it by having a quick table public holiday, and all these things will fall into places. Later, I will demonstrate how it's going to be done. And let's continue with the formula. Comma, so I want to make it as an exact match. Close parenthesis and press enter. And we show number one. Whenever it shows number, means it shows which is the match location, which is the row number one in here. Therefore, it found is a holiday. I can copy this whole thing down by double click on the view handle. Those NA means they are not found, means they are not holiday. Now, I want to do some changes here. I want to have a formula to turn them into true and false. Before that, I want to have them, all the NA to become so I will have a formula called if error this whole formula unable to find any matches at the end of formula I can comma zero I want to show it as zero close parenthesis and now let me show you a different way of working with the formula it's not all this one we create a formula we copy downward and now we have pre-selected the range I put press control enter you can see the whole thing change and I want to turn those non-zero to become a true and those zero become false. I go back to change the formula. Greater than zero and press control. But only the first one is true, meanwhile the rest they are false. I want to replicate the similar thing in the no meeting. So just equal match the holiday comma. Now I'm going to show you a different way of working with the formula. I will type the starting name of the table, which is table. When I start type the first three alphabets, I can see the list appears it has a table public holiday and I will choose the table working day and press tab. Open square bracket, it will give you the list of the table. I go to the date and 
brass cap, close by bracket, former zero and close parenthesis and press enter. You return either an A or a number. I could double click to make sure it has one and two, so four and five it has a meeting. So now I want to do some changes here. In the formula, I want to use the error. This whole thing has error. Comma zero, I want to show it has a zero and press control enter yes and when in order to indicate yes no meeting i want to check whether this particular result is equal to zero press enter whenever it's true it means yes no meeting and i realize i made mistakes here there's no public holiday it should be reversed therefore i want to change this result the formula instead of greater than zero i want to put it as equal to zero press control enter you can see yes only those date they are weekday and no public holiday and there are no meeting so it will be the date okay for our own holiday only the dates that has a true for the weekday true for the public holiday and true for the no meeting so this will be the date perfectly okay for holiday so I want to have a final result here to show okay for holiday. So to combine these three, I will just use the and A and D. So A and D first one, comma, second one, comma, third one, and close parenthesis. Again, you will return true or false. Press enter. If false means they are not okay, I can go to bottom right and double click and see only these three these dates. They are okay for holidays. So let me do some changes on the meeting. For example, the 11th of January, it will be a town hall meeting. So I go to the calendar here. 11th of January, year 21, it will be town hall. Once I'm done, you can notice this whole thing changed to false. Same thing with the holiday. Let's say has a new holiday declared or I have overlooked this boss on 7 of January. I will just key 7 of January, year 21, and I will I will just leave it as nothing for the holiday. So you can notice this holding changes and the holiday it was true, not become false. So with this kind of formula, it makes the thing super super easy and you are able to make the planning much more effective. If you like or benefiting from this video, please give a thumbs up and comment and share with your friends. If you feel this is not to your liking, you can give me a thumbs down. I'm totally okay. And if you want me to cover a specific scenario, please send your question over. I would love to review your question and come up with a video something like this. And my name is Tai, your Excel Sifu from YXL. Take care everyone and stay safe.